Let's begin this Hatha Yoga sequence with some standing postures. Remember that we will be emphasizing maintaining moment-to-moment -moment awareness during this sequence, and that we are working in a non-judgmental mode, exploring our boundaries and our limits in a gentle but determined way, not trying to beat the body into shape, but simply nourishing it with this special kind of attention and on a regular basis, as we have been doing. For some of these standing postures, you might want to do them on occasion in front of a full-length mirror to give you an external view of what is involved. Remember throughout to breathe diaphragmatically as much as possible, and with awareness of your breathing, as we go along. Now let's begin by standing with both feet flat on the floor, the arms alongside your body just dangling in an erect, relaxed posture, the feet maybe two or three inches apart, and on an in-breath, we'll just stretch the arms up to the side with the elbows straight and locking hold of the thumbs, just stretching up as we complete this in-breath as far as we can, staying on the flats of our feet, and then continuing to breathe as we stretch. And just feeling the stretch through the elbows and the armpits, through the rib cage, right out of the pelvis, and anywhere else that you feel it along your body from head to toe. Just breathing here as you stretch. And when you're ready, unlocking the thumbs and stretching the palms out to the sides as you slowly lower your arms, and you'll probably feel some tingling. The wrists will be bent, fingers pointing up towards the ceiling as they come down, and slowly, mindfully letting your arms come down until they are simply dangling limp by your side. And if you will, just allowing your eyes to close, centering your attention in your belly and observing the flow of your breathing. And of course, tuning into the sensations in your arms and what the effects of just having done this simple stretch are. Now let's take a, another deep breath in, and this time just stretch the right arm up, and we'll do what we call picking grapes, where we'll just try to reach something that's just out of reach as we continue to breathe, and if you like, lifting the left heel at the same time, and just stretching up, up, up. Left arm is down alongside your body reaching, stretching, and slowly lowering the right arm, and then raising the left arm and the right heel, and again, picking these grapes that are just out of reach, and feeling the stretch coming right up out of the left leg and left hip, stretching, reaching, breathing, and slowly coming down. Now let's again taking a deep breath in and stretching the arms up to the side as we did to begin with, locking the thumbs together, and this time just stretching 
bending over to the right side, keeping the head between the arms, and just breathing as you hang over the right hip. Just finding where you stop and breathing here as you explore the sensations and the limit of your body in this particular bend. The left side will be stretched and you'll feel it. And then inhaling, bringing the arms up and straightening out again and on the exhalation going over to the left, stretching. If you like, you can let go of the thumbs and just have the arms be parallel as you stretch out the right side, bending over the left hip. Breathing. And when you're ready, coming back up. Stretching up one last time with the thumbs locked. And slowly lowering the arms to the side, as before. And just letting them dangle here, as we once again close the eyes and center ourselves in the standing posture. And bringing the attention to your belly. Now let's roll the shoulders around in a forward direction, remembering that you can break it down into four separate movements, the first being raising the shoulders up towards the ears as far as they'll go. The arms are passive in this and just hang the whole time, and squeezing them together in front of the chest, letting them just drop, which is relaxed, and then trying to squeeze them together behind the back, touching the shoulder blades together. So a big rowing, rolling motion as you move the shoulders around. And then when you're ready, back in the other direction. And then just Coming back to stillness, standing. Feeling the effects of what we've just done. The sensations in the neck and shoulder region. And then when you're ready, let's do our neck rolls where you... Lower the chin to the chest, and then move the head so that slowly the left ear is over the left shoulder, and then keep on going until the head is all the way back. Then the right ear over the right shoulder, and finally bringing the chin back across the chest, and just moving in this way, breathing in for the first half as the head goes back and out for the second half as the head comes forward in a big, slow, circular movement. And letting your eyes make a big circle around the room as you do it. And then when you're ready, reversing the direction. And then coming back to standing with the head in a neutral position. And again, centering, grounding yourself, getting in touch with the feet, making contact with the floor. Letting the body be completely relaxed, but at the same time, alert. 
poised, balanced as you breathe. Now let's uh, work at some balancing and at the same time strengthening the muscles on the side of the body. Let's begin by slowly letting the weight shift from both feet over onto just the left foot. And as we do that, raising the arms up so that they're parallel to the floor. And just raising the right leg up as much as it will come and staying here breathing, perhaps focusing on a spot on the wall and just holding it here, standing on the left leg. The right leg out to the side, the arms stretched out to the side and breathing. and trying to maintain your balance as best you can. And when you're ready, slowly letting the leg come down and the arms come down at the same time so that the weight gradually shifts from the left foot to being taken on by both feet. And then when you're ready, on and in breath, raising the arms up again. And as you do, raising the left leg up now, letting all the weight be taken by the right leg. And again, stretching out with the arms, raising the leg up as far as you can, and just holding it here, balancing and breathing. Using the focus of your eyes on a spot to keep you concentrated and balanced. And perhaps raising the leg up a little more, a little higher, stretching the arms out, breathing deeply into the belly. And when you're ready, slowly letting the leg and the arms come back down. And just coming to rest here, standing. Now let's uh, put our hands on our hips and gently turn just from the waist over the right shoulder. Just looking behind you as far as you can, keeping the hips facing forward, turning the head and the chest, and then coming back to center, and turning, looking over the left shoulder. Breathing, and then back to center. And then keeping your hands on your hips. Now turning from the ankles, so that you're turning the whole body, except for the feet, to the right as far as you can. Tracking with the eyes, going as far as you can to the right. Breathing as you do it. And then when you're ready, slowly coming back through center and turning from the ankles all the way to the left. When you get as far as you can, just breathing with it. Be aware of your body and what it's feeling in various places. And then coming back to center. And letting the hands dangle once more. When you're ready, uh, doing a forward bend, let's Bend the knees slightly and uh, take a deep breath in, stretching the arms up over the head as we did before. Deep breath in 
And then on the exhalation, just bending over from the waist and hanging, coming down until your head is hanging towards the floor, the arms are hanging towards the floor or touching the floor, and just resting in this position, hanging and breathing with the knees slightly bent. And every time you breathe in, feeling the actual in-breath expand against the rib cage and, and stretch the back a little. And as you breathe out, just surrendering to the gravitational pull and letting the muscles lengthen and relax. And as your head sinks a little bit deeper, a little bit further down towards your knees and towards the floor. Slow, deep, diaphragmatic breathing. And if you like, while you're down here, you might want to stretch one arm out, say the right arm, until it's parallel to the floor. And just holding it here, breathing, and letting it come back down and then stretching the left arm up and out until it's parallel to the floor, and breathing with it, and then letting it down, just hanging, breathing, and when you're ready, slowly standing back up, and coming up with the lower part of your spine first, so that you're straightening first the hips, and then the central part of the back, and then the upper back, and then, and only then, raising the head back up, coming into a balanced standing position. And if you care to, closing the eyes and just, again, focusing on your breathing at your belly and tuning to the effects of this forward bend. Be aware of your breath. Perhaps you'll also be aware of your heart beating. And just letting everything settle. And now we'll do the chair, which involves stretching both arms out in front of you and having the feet about a body width apart. And then imagine that you're sitting down on a chair that's not there, an imaginary chair, and just coming down to a sitting position as best you can with the head and the back as erect as you can keep them. They will be bent forward some. And just slowly bending the knees and sitting down until you've reached the point where you're as much... Uh, the way you would be if there was a chair there as possible, and just stay here breathing. You may feel this in your ankles or in the small of your back, and staying with the feeling of sitting here and the strength that's required to maintain this, using your arms for balance and breathing. See if you can drop down a little bit lower. Just staying at your limit, wherever it may be. And when you're ready, just standing back up and letting your arms hang, and if you like, just shaking them out a little bit. And taking a long, deep breath in and just letting it out letting all the tension or fatigue that builds up in doing something strenuous like that just leave on the out-breath.
And now let's do the tree, which involves taking the right foot and drawing it up and putting it as high as you can manage on the inside of your left leg, perhaps up high up on the thigh, perhaps lower on the thigh above the knee, or on the knee, or even below the knee, wherever you can manage to put it. And then, as best you can, balancing on the left leg and bringing the palms together in clapping position over in front of your chest and just breathing like this and picking out a spot either on the wall or if you're using a mirror in the mirror or on the floor three or four feet in front of you and focusing your gaze on that spot. And then when you're ready, stretching the arms up over the head as far as they'll go and clasping the fingers together and pushing, pressing the upper arms against your ears and breathing deeply down into your abdomen on each in-breath and out from the abdomen, from your belly, on each out-breath. And just balancing here in the tree. Stretching up. If possible, keeping the left knee straight. When you're ready, slowly unclasping the hands and letting the arms come down to the side, and when they are about horizontal, lifting the knee up and bringing the right foot down alongside the left foot as the arms come down, sort of as if you were making a three-point landing and totally under your control. And then allowing the weight to shift to the right foot as you lift the left foot and place it against the inside of the right leg, wherever it will go, and starting with the palms over the chest, and then when you're stabilized in the balancing, stretching the arms up over the head and clasping the hands again and pressing the upper arms against your ears as you breathe and balance. Stretching a little bit higher. And then unclasping the hands and slowly letting the arms come down until they're horizontal, then lifting the left knee up and slowly coming down with the arms and the foot until you're standing again on both feet allowing your eyes to close and just again, once again, centering your awareness in your belly and in a sense of your body as a whole as you stand here. And Then when you're ready, sitting down, and we'll do some stretches from a sitting position. Now let's begin by bringing the soles of the feet together and lacing the 
fingers beyond the, the toes, and then slowly drawing the heels in towards the pelvis, towards the perineum, as you sit up straight. Now, be careful not to yank or to pull on your feet, but just move them in until uh, you've reached the point where your body is telling you to stop. And then just gently bouncing the knees a little bit to loosen things up in the pelvis and in the insides of your thighs. And as you do this, breathing down into your belly. Okay, and then let's sit with the left leg stretched out in front of you and bring the uh, right foot again on the inside of the thigh and as far up towards the pelvis as it will go. And then when you're ready, sitting up straight, taking a deep breath in and as you do, stretching the arms up over your head and locking the thumbs together. Now be careful, as with all of these postures, to do them slowly and mindfully so that you're not jerking or pushing yourself beyond your limits and pulling muscles. But just gently breathing in as you stretch up. And then on the out breath, lowering the head between the arms over the left leg and hanging wherever you wind up. And if you like, taking hold of the leg with the hands and just gently, each time you breathe out, encouraging the forehead to come down a little bit further towards the leg, towards the knee, between the arms. And when you're ready, taking a deep breath in and raising the arms and the head and chest up again so that you're sitting up straight again, stretching, breathing. And on an out breath, just doing the same thing again, coming forward and down. And as you breathe in, just feeling the breath itself enhance the stretch. And on each out breath, just coming down a little bit further, relaxing a little bit more into the stretch itself. Feeling the muscles in the back of your body, behind the knee, the hamstrings, the muscles in the leg, in the back of the leg, and in your back and neck, just lengthen as you allow them to relax and let go. And then when you're ready on an in-breath, stretching the arms back up, coming forward as far as you can, and then raising up with the head between the arms and coming back up until you're stretching up over the head with the fingers, the thumbs locked, and breathing, feeling your chest expand fully on each in-breath. And when you're ready, just slowly letting the arms come down to the side until they make contact and then just relaxing. And then switching legs so that the right leg is now out straight and you're bringing the left foot so that it's on the floor on the inside of the right thigh. And when you're ready, taking a deep breath in, stretching the arms up as before, locking the thumbs together, and just breathing in this position. Feeling any places in the neck or in the back or the shoulders that may be tight. Not overstretching, simply coming into your limit where you feel some creative stretching going on. Me. There may be a little discomfort, but uh, you're not reaching the point of pulling muscles or tearing anything. And then when you're ready on an out-breath, coming forward and down with the 
head between the arms, and hanging over the right leg now. And again, if you like, taking hold of the leg with your hands, and on each out-breath just encouraging your head to come down a little bit more, encouraging your back to stretch a little bit more as you sink into the posture. And when you're ready, inhaling and coming forward with the arms and up. Taking a few deep breaths in and out as you stretch the arms up over the head, sitting up straight. And once again on an out breath, coming forward and down over the leg. And directing your breath to any regions in the back of the leg or the back itself or the shoulders where you're feeling the stretch in particular. And on each out breath, just letting go of the tension, letting go of the fatigue or the effort and just breathing here in a state of relaxed awareness and stillness. Just experiencing yourself from moment to moment with your body in this particular configuration. And again, when you're ready, on an in-breath, coming forward over the right foot with the arms and up. Sitting up straight, breathing, stretching. And slowly bringing the arms down to the side, letting them float down until they make contact and relaxing. And then sitting with both legs out in front of you and just shaking them out a little bit as you support yourself uh, with your hands behind your back. Just shaking the legs out at the knees, flapping your feet back and forth. Just lying back down on your mat, on your back. In the corpse position. With the hands lying alongside your body but not touching and the palms open towards the ceiling if that's comfortable and with the feet falling away from each other and just breathing here aware of your belly as it expands on the in-breath and deflates on the out-breath and aware of your body as a whole as you lie here in stillness. Aware of whatever thoughts may be moving through your mind or aware of sounds, aware of sensations, the flux of feelings in your body in various parts of your body. Just lying here in a state of moment-to-moment -moment awareness as you relax into each breath, as your body sinks into the floor on, on each out-breath, as you, as you let go. And now let's do the half bridge to 
reverse the uh, stretch in the back somewhat and balance it. And we do this by bending both knees so that the feet are flat on the floor, about a body width apart, and not taking hold of the ankles with the hands unless you can reach them, but it's not necessary. Just with the hands on the floor alongside your body, when you're ready, taking a deep breath in, and as you do, just lifting your pelvis up off the floor so that you come to rest on uh, the soles of your feet and the upper back, your shoulder blades and the back of your neck and, and head, and just resting in this position with your thighs as parallel as possible to the floor and your pelvis as high up as it will go. And just breathing in this position right up into your belly, feeling and in fact seeing your belly expand every time you breathe in and recede every time you breathe out. And in this position, the chest is fully expanded and you can breathe quite deeply in and out. Be aware of the fatigue that may be setting in in the lower back or in the thighs and try as much as you can to maintain this posture with minimal muscular involvement so that you're just resting here as still as possible as if you were a statue in this particular configuration. Timeless, just what you are in this moment, and allowing your face to relax and, and your arms. You may want to stretch the arms out up beyond the head to the floor and rest in this position. And when you're ready, slowly lowering the pelvis back to the floor and stretching back out. In the corpse, with your arms alongside your body. And then when you're ready, let's draw both knees up towards the chest and wrap our arms around the shins and just squeezing the knees towards the chest as we rock a little from side to side and gradually stretch out the back once again. from side to side. And then, if you like, raising the head up and either putting the forehead on the knees or wherever it gets to and rocking a little bit from front to back. Just gently. And perhaps you can rock up to a sitting position and back onto the back of your head and neck. But if 
you find that that's difficult, just rocking as best you can within your limits. And when you're ready, just once again stretching back out on your back and letting go, relaxing, sinking into the floor as your muscles release. Bringing your attention once again to your belly. And just staying in touch with your body. Now as the tape ends, just remembering what it means for you to engage yourself in this kind of work, in this way of giving yourself some time and some energy, giving yourself some nourishment that helps you to maintain and improve your health. And making the time on a regular basis, as we've been practicing perhaps every other day, to either use this tape or to learn the sequence to the point where you can do it on your own, or to use other postures that you may have learned or have uh, learned from doing yourself. And introducing a little bit of this body awareness and this method for both strengthening your muscles and your musculoskeletal system and stretching it and relaxing yourself as part of your daily routine, even if it's for 10 or 15 minutes, but on a, an ongoing basis. And as you do over the weeks and the months and the years, observing your limits and dwelling at your limits and observing the changes in them as you grow and as you become stronger and more flexible and more balanced. <laughs> 